Hello everyone, today is all about the inner tube. This is probably the most overlooked piece of equipment on your bike and you know it keeps air in there, keeps you rolling, but today I'm going to show you 10 super awesome, super easy and very useful hacks and bodges that you too can do with an inner tube. So let's get on to number one. For number one, we're going to make a mud guard for the bike. All you're going to need is one of these and some cable ties and of course the inner tube. For this one, we're going to use the downhill bike to demonstrate. I'm going to cut the inner tube up like this. Right, it's now in half. What we're going to do here is measure how far we need it. I'm going to go about there. Let's cut it again. We need to cut the whole way up like this. Now we're left with this perfectly cut piece of inner tube and it needs to go from here to here. So we need two little holes and down the bottom. Then we just get our cable ties and add this on like this. That is the mud guard. You can, you know, you could double the layers up to make it stronger. You could make them wider by attaching them in different places. But that is basically the first bodge, the mud guard, epic. This is number two. This is the bare feet hack. You know, it's summertime, you might wanna to go to the beach and take your dirt jump bike, but why wear shoes? Well, now you won't get hurt by the metal pins because of this hack. What we're gonna do, we just put the inner tube in like this then we're going to wrap that around there like this then we need to just cut the tube again tuck that in there and then you've got a platform there that's going to be super comfortable when you've got your your shoe off look epic the beach bike hack see you later this is number three, and if you're one of those mountain bikers that are still stuck in the past and using inner tubes like myself, you're gonna get a puncture. Of course, we've all got an inner tube repair kit, but probably no patches in it because we always forget about it. So you can just use an old inner tube, cut it up like this, put the glue on like normal, cover where the hole is, which is there, and there we have a very own patch. See, all you need to get yourself is some rubber cement off eBay or whatever, and then you've got yourself endless patches with an old inner tube. Perfect. Number four, if you're a guy that does tricks, like take your feet off, do tail whips and all that stuff, you're gonna not want your cranks to spin. So this is the crank stopper, and this is gonna stop the cranks from spinning. What we do is take off the pedal, and then we're going to cut the tube into these small little bands. If you squish it together like that, you can get one band per cut. So here we've got a band. Uh, obviously, if you, you know, pull it too hard, it's going to snap. It's not that strong, but when there's loads of them together, you can build up and up and up until you've got some friction against your crank arm. Uh, it still allows you to pedal, but that way you can do tail whips and your cranks won't spin while you're in the air. The more you put on there, the tighter your cranks are going to be and the better it's going to be for tail whips, no footers and all that stuff. So that is the crank stopper. Number five is a super favourite of mine because it's so simple and just works amazingly. So you usually go out riding and you're going to take some tools with you and they're probably just gonna be dumped in the bottom of your bag. Well, if you cut a bit of inner tube like that, you can put all your tools together and they're not gonna be floating around everywhere in your bag. And then you'll just be able to find everything easily. See, you just put them all in there like that. It's actually incredible. This is the best thing I've ever seen or done. And then when you pull out one tool, it's all gonna come with it rather than just like having to search in your bag the simplest and sickest hack I've ever seen with an inner tube. On to the next one. 
Number six, this is for you trail builders. This is the shovel holder and it's just an epic system that works on your bike. All you're gonna need is two little cuts like this and two cable ties. For this, I've got the e-bike. Let's lift the seat up. You've got your rails. Connect this under there. There's one, and there's two. We just need to cut these like that. Oh my God, this is so good. Then what you do is just feed the shovel through your, your tube bits here. Very simple. Yeah, something like that. And then you can just pedal off to the trails with your spade on there and you, and you don't even have to carry it. It's actually the dream. What's another good hack for this under the seat system is just to put another inner tube underneath your seat as a backup. Perfect. You can also squeeze a pump in there if you've got one as well. Awesome. On to number seven. Uh, oh, what is it? It's written down on my phone. Um, uh, are you, you checking out my new pop socket? What, the send it to the sky pop socket that is available now on the store? <laughs> Click up here on the screen if you want to get involved in this bit of epic action. Look, it says send it, so you just don't forget to send it daily. Anyway, number seven is the tow rope. Tie the inner tube around your seat post and then your mate is going to tie it around his handlebars or hold it just like this and then you can tow them out of danger. Obviously this works better if you've got an e-bike because it's way easier for you. This is number eight, this is the chain slap protector. You need a bit of inner tube like this and what we're going to do is wrap it around the chain stay here because as you can see the chain has kind of eaten away at this chain stay and that wouldn't have happened if I'd wrapped it with this inner tube. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier if I take the chain off so I'm just going to get that off really quick. Let's just get that off like that. Fastest way to do it really. Right, so you just get the chain off like that. Then you want to wrap the chain stay like that. The harder you pull it, the smoother it's going to be, the better it's going to look. And then at the end there, you just want to wrap it round, get yourself a cable tie. Boom. Done. Then of course, put your chain back on. And you're good to go. And you're not going to destroy the frame any longer. Number nine, this is for you downhill guys out there and basically anyone that does extreme stuff on a mountain bike because when you're being extreme and crazy, stones are going to hit the underside of your frame and if you're looking to sell your bike after you've been riding it for the year or whatever, having scratches is not going to help the sale. So this is a very simple one. Uh, I've cut two pieces of inner tube like that. I'm going to thread them through like this. Thread that through. Right, here we go. So now I've got a really thick piece of rubber. You can then place that on the frame and very simply just wrap your frame with a cable tie. That protection pad there is literally gonna save your bike. Cut the, the end of the cable ties off. I'll flip the bike up the other way. That bit of protection there is literally gonna stop so many dents and scratches, and you'll be able to sell your bike for a lot more money. Number 10, this is a personal favorite of mine, and it's called the slingshot. What you're gonna need is to cut a bit of the inner tube like this. Then you're gonna need a pair of old forks out of the garage. I found some of these orange fox forks. You also need two cable ties. You need to cut a little bit in the tube like this at both ends and connect it to your fork. We do it to the other side. Very easy and fun for all the family. Then what you can see here is that you have a perfect slingshot. This is the handle for optimum grab, grabbing, and then you just fire. So you get this thing that comes in the box, which 
I believe is some sort of ammunition. And then you just fire it. <laughs> That's so good. Let's do it again. Hope he's okay. That is the end of the video. They were 10 of my favorite and most helpful inner tube hacks, bodges, and tips. So I hope they helped you. Uh, if you know any more, leave them in the comments. That'd be really cool to see if you guys do anything weird with old inner tubes. So that'd be sick if you leave some comments. It'd be awesome if you subscribe. See you in the next one. To the sky! <laughs>